Hello, welcome, thanks for watching. It's Rhonda Del Baccio, the Crafty Blind Girl, and I am here doing a product review of the We Are Memory Keepers book binding guide. Um, I, this tool is around $20. I purchased it from Amazon. I have seen it on hsn.com and it is available, of course, on We Are Memory Keepers. Uh, website and uh, scrapbook.com and you can probably by now find it in your stores um, so it's pretty readily available now and what it allows me to do is to create journals uh, or books now so let me show you the tool and what comes with it oh I don't have the instruction book and probably well, I do have it somewhere. There's a little instruction book. It's utterly useless. I actually found someone did a tutorial, and I went, oh, thank you, because I had no idea what to do. Now I do. Okay, so for the, the kind of journaling that, uh, journal making that I want to do, it's basically the take some paper, bind it together, make a journal, just simplistic but I don't sew and without this kind of tool I just didn't feel competent to do it not not just because I'm a blind person but because I suck at sewing all right so the no I don't think I showed you very well taking the knobs off there when you get it there are these a knob on each side and you lefty loosey you turn it loose and then you're able to get this plastic off. So what you would do is to put your journal right in the crevice, your pages. And mine is too thick, but uh, I'll just to give you the idea. So then you would put this down and you will screw in the top and the bottom. That holds it in place. And that gives you your guidance. So, what you have are these holes. And every, and the, the middle one, also this is angled. There's like a V. There's also a V in here. They both should go down like the way your book is going to nestle right in there. And then you're going to hold it down with that. This side I've never used the complicated with three holes. I don't think I ever will. But there, find somebody else's tutorial if you want to. <laughs> it's not going to be mine. <laughs> I just want to make my own journal books. <laughs> Inserts for my TNs. Um, but it's kind of nice that each of the other opposite holes has uh, black around it. So what I found for doing an A5, which is you take a piece of typing paper and you fold it in half, is I put it into the bottom and I lined this up and at the second, where I saw the second black mark, I did that one and then three black on the, on the third black mark, a second one, one, two on the third black, one a third, one, two on the fourth black, one the fourth, one, two on the fifth black, one the fifth. And that makes for a nice, each of the things, well, maybe somebody tells you, I didn't, I didn't know it, but I figured that out. And I also realized from looking at some of my own that you don't need the stitching to go right up to the edge. I mean, it's, it's fairly close, but it doesn't have to go all the way to the edge to hold it together just fine. So that's kind of how that piece of it works the so if I were setting it up to actually make a journal I can put it right in there and put it down it also can just store with the point up um, on the other side when you're not using that piece oops I'm sorry, my little planner clip decided to come for the ride. 
I get it. You want to go with the journal. I'll give you her to her. There. It's yellow. It matches the kid. It's a butterfly. Okay. I made a journal for my friend who loves sunflowers, but the kid also has some butterflies, which are important to me. And the butterfly yellow clip wants to go. All right. Anyway, back to this. So here is the actual tool. It also comes with this pouch, which is some kind of fairly heavy material, and it has a clip. Inside of it, there are some items. There is a plastic case. Inside of that, you have two needles and some thread. And then you have the awl. My only grumble, and it's not exactly a huge grumble, but you have to be really, that this awl is sharp. You could poke yourself. So when I first tried to put this away, I poked through the bottom of here, which is not the end of the world for that, but I don't want me or somebody else to get hurt. So... I try to nestle it up against that plastic and it doesn't quite ride properly, but it will still fit in there. It just doesn't necessarily close. Um, also my other sewing needle, I actually just shove it in there because that's going to hold on to it better. So otherwise when I'm opening the case, like I did the first time and my needle went flying, fortunately not too far because I didn't open the case wide, but at least everything is, um, is contained and just do remember that the the all is sharp oh I guess I should say when you have the guide and you're using it you just go straight down into the hole that you want with the all and you would press through your pages and then you have the same hole on all of your pages so I've made two journals. What is it? I've made two journals so far with this. Here it is. So here's the first one. And this isn't that many pages. One, three. Okay, and that's where I folded it through. Yeah, so that one just has about six pages. I did that all in one go. With the tool on this other journal that I did here, it's very thick. It's an A5 size, which is half of, like a piece of paper folded in half. Um, and it has... 13 sheets of paper, and they are of different, I'm everything from uh, vellum to computer paper to cardstock, and pockets with goodies in them and such, like this. Let me just go ahead and put this clip in, before it has a conniption. There, okay, you're in the center. Happy? <laughs> okay, so that one, the nice thing is with the tool, you don't have to do everything in one go. And they say it'll do up to eight pieces of paper. That depends on the thickness. Um, so just do it in two loads or three loads or whatever works. Here's the other thing I will say that I learned. Let me find my... Um, okay, so a piece of paper like this, which is a solid color, this was really easy to be able to find the holes and kind of be able to tell, like if you got interrupted in the middle of it, like I did, and go, oh, I lost my place. Oh, I can see where the holes are. If you're working on paper, let me try to, well, these are obviously not going to be the same pieces of paper, but if you're on stuff with a lot of patterning, then this, well, this isn't as bad, but if you have a lot of patterning, it can be a little harder to see your holes. You can always just put a piece of white paper or whatever. Just put it in there so you can see your holes really easy. Throw it out, use it on something else, whatever. You don't have to put it in a journal just because you run it through the hole puncher. Once you put it in the hole puncher, you come up through the middle and start sewing. 
a handy trick that I thought of that I will also mention. Once you have the needle threaded and you are going through, you don't want to like drag your string out. Just take a little piece of washi and hold your tail of your thread down. And that way you have something to pull against. It won't come loose, but it also won't damage your project because it's just washi. It's meant to be repositionable. So I'm just sharing a couple of tips while I do the review because I've only done two of these, but I've learned these things. And I will do a separate tips video. But um, So that is it. Now this, as I say, is very thick. I'm not going to do a whole flip here, but there's just a lot. Uh, I have a sack burnt video coming out. And so you can do it in a couple of loads, sew it together, and it works great. And even me, who doesn't sew well, well, if you put me the holes in the right place, I can thread a needle and I can pull the needle through. <laughs> Just don't make me in charge of holes on my own without help. So I give this an A+. I think the any of the tools by We Are Memory Keepers, their engineers are just absolutely brilliant. And they are amazing at coming up with these wonderful ways to make things happen. So I want to thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful. I am, by the way, not getting um, paid or I didn't get, I bought this myself. I'm just doing this as a service to the crafting um, community and those who might be starting off like me. I, I see lots of really fancy do, um, you know, junk journals and, and inserts and whatever and I'm not at fancy, but I'm at having a good time. So I'm just sharing this to help everybody out. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel so you get all my crafting and planning vids right when they come out. As always, oh, um, subscribe, tap the bell. I don't know if I said the tap the bell part. And be sure to like the video. Thanks. As always, cheers to your blissful life and enjoy. Let me know how you like this tool or if you have one, talk about it in the comments.